Welcome to Session Nuance video, week three, day three. We are starting off with a three-part series here. Make sure that we're going top hand only and that we're going to alternate, well, rotate between overhand, okay, straight over the top, three quarters, and then side on. So we want to make sure that there is a clear and distinct difference between all three of these release points. All right, let's make sure that we're trying to catch into the next relief, okay? Limit extra cradles. We're gonna practice this on both sides. So now we're going over to the weak side for this three-part sequence, overhand, three-quarters, and side arm. So as that ball came at me on that last rep, I had to cradle it, and now what I'm focusing on is aiming to catch into my next release. All right, I'm trying to minimize the time that the ball is spending in my stick, and a big part of that is actually the accuracy of the prior throw. That's how we can set ourselves up for success. Set three here. We're gonna alternate sides each rep. Okay, strong hand sidearm, weak hand sidearm, but you're gonna go from top hand only to two-handed. So now I'm on two-handed. This is an A, B, C, D rep. So rep A is top hand only on the strong side, sidearm. Switch that right over, top hand only on the weak side, sidearm. Now we're going strong handed sidearm, two hands, and then weak handed sidearm, two hands. All right, we're trying to be as efficient as we can with this exchange. As we come across our face, we're switching hands, right, and trying to maintain a proper throwing grip throughout this whole entire sequence. Right? It's easy to bring that stick across and have too firm of a grip, so that's why it's helpful. Set number four, we are going into an A, B, C, D, E, F sequence. There's six different releases, okay? Now we're on to E and F, okay? So now we go back to A. We go sidearm on the strong side, two-handed for everything, three quarters right into overhand, and then catch into this exchange, overhand, catching into three quarters, and then catching into sidearm. So a little bit of like a fan motion, and then you come all the way back to the beginning on the strong side. All right, doing our best as per usual to minimize how long that ball spends in our stick. Okay, always trying to catch into that next motion, all right, to set ourselves up for the next throw and be efficient and limit how much time this takes us. All right, so let's keep working on this full extension overhand. We're on the strong hand right now, but now we have a new way of approaching this because we're gonna use that bottom hand only grip. Okay, so A, top hand only, catch right into that extension. B, bottom hand only. All right, poles, you're gonna need to be choked up on this. And then C, two hand. All right, rotating right through, A, B, and C trying to make each of them look and feel the same as far as the range of motion that that stick comes through should ideally be the same for all three of those repetitions. Okay, final set here. We're gonna go from that two-handed full extension into a tack and bounce. Okay, pick our head up. As soon as we get our feet set, we're going behind the back throw, switch over to our weak hand for a pump fake, and then repeat. Okay, so overhand, full extension, attack the wall. As soon as you bounce, pick your head and hands up. Okay, behind the back pass, make sure we're protected, and then switch over to the weak side for this pump fake. All right, this one is going to get a little bit, uh, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, and the behind the back is obviously more challenging when you're running to set it up, so make sure you're balancing yourself first Right? I'd rather see good reps at a moderate pace than crappy reps at a fast pace. All right? Once you get good at it, then speed it up and try to do this as efficiently and quickly as possible. And let's make sure we get good at each individual component first. All right? Hopefully this is a fun session. Let's earn our right. Let's go.